because of that to understand because somehow or other my thoughts got in, interfered with the voice even though the, she could say a b c d e f g it might sound the voice might be in my head a g z d or something yeah, there was a problem with my thinking i guess the way it worked um and my clarity and 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 i had a tendency to what we would call my internal vocal discriminator did not discriminate the proper words vowels and sounds to get the proper meaning of what was being trans, you know, transferred to me at the time. Later on, I got it down to a science, but it took about almost eight years. And out of the 20 years that we worked together, it was really amazing. The eight years of it was, you know, just me learning. It's like a learning how to read and write and walk and talk all over again. It was a lot of work. It wasn't easy. So I began to learn how to do all of this stuff with her. And uh, at that time, it was just a lot of fun. I also, uh, during those times, began to realize it was time to do, go back to the work in the working world. And so I started my company called Pyridine, which exists today. And I'm sure you can see on the website, which is uh, pyridine.com, which will be on the computers that, you, that you'll probably be listening to this in the very beginning on. And if you want to reach me, I'm at 1-800-729-2603 at some point in time during these different tapes and recordings that I'll be doing. So anyway, uh, Samyasi and I began to meet at different places. I was, Paradigm was young and we were traveling around the country. I was working with the National Health Federation, uh, which was a freedom organization designed to keep our constitutional freedoms as far as freedom of health choices in place. The National Health Federation formed in the early 50s. Um, was uh, had a forum of some of the top doctors at the time and we went all around to five or six major cities usually every other month and we spoke to the general populace about things of nutrition matters of nutrition and politics and the things that we were all into at the time so matter of fact it was the National Health Federation that got our vitamins legislated so that we could have freedom of choice with our vitamins Otherwise, you'd be getting a prescription to go get a vitamin, and you would not get a natural vitamin. You would be getting a synthetic vitamin, and a synthetic vitamin, when put in the body, robs the body, body of its natural vitamin storage. So a synthetic vitamin is basically poison. And that's the kind of stuff that you would have had had it not been for the National Health Federation. When you walk into a store and you see vitamin, you know, vitamin D and vitamin A added and all these things in milk, for example, this is very bad. If you were to consume milk for calcium, for example, there is vitamin D added. Well, vitamin D normally comes to your body from sunlight. One uh, square inch of your skin is 18 international units. But if you use cruciferol as a synthetic form and put it in milk, what happens is it robs your body of vitamin D. And over a long period of time, your body can't assimilate calcium. Calcium is normally used by the heart in its largest amount once you stop growing. It doesn't go to the bones anymore in, in growth. It goes to the actual beating of the heart with an enzyme called actin that produces. And when actin is produced by calcium and vitamin D, then what happens is the heart beats. It produces an electrical signal. Just about everything you buy in a store is not good for you, as you probably know. Like, for example, tomatoes. I, tomatoes are very good. Uh, anything of any phytochemical... Uh, that you put in your body from a natural plant was very anti-carcinogenic in its ways. But with tomatoes, if, I like to if you can't smell them, they're dead. So I always get the ripened on the vine organic tomatoes. Those are pretty healthy, and so you pretty much end up in a health food store or a store that has organic produce and things to get good things to put in your body. Everything else is full of chemicals, and our whole society is obviously chemicaled out pretty good, as we're seeing pretty much on a daily basis. Well, anyway, I hope you're enjoying our show. And uh, in the future, we're going to be getting into a lot of other subjects. I will be able to continue more of the background of my life so you understand it, because we're just getting into that now. And we're going to be talking about a lot of different things. I wrote a book called Rays of Truth, Crystals of Light that you might be interested in. It sells at Amazon, and it also sells um, on the Paradigm website, and other bookstores have it. And it's about a oh, 500 and some odd page book. It weighs, I think, four and a half pounds. We call it the telephone book, and it has about 400 and some odd illustrations in it. So it covers a lot of things from anywhere from nutrition to energy to auric fields to 
uh, all kinds of things in the scalar wave world that we work in. We get into propulsion systems, work that I did um, uh, after NASA out there. I've done a lot of independent projects, still continue to do those even now. You'll be learning more about those. We're going to be trying to get our, up, our website updated more. And, of course, the uh, blog and service website will carry some articles uh, with uh, different pictures, which we'll be providing. This is all brand new right now, and we're just getting this thing started. So it takes time to really integrate all the necessary factions to make this a whole and complete series of programs that has uh, some kind of a meaningful purpose in your daily life your daily understanding, but I hope to uh, cover a lot. I've got a lot to say on terrorism and what's really going on, which I'll cover probably in the next show or the show after that. There's a lot of stuff out there that you guys need to know that you don't know right now. The things that are about to happen, for example, that aren't really that good. We're going to be talking about those kinds of things and how to prevent um, things to happen to you and how to have some kind of an ounce of prevention, which is worth more than a pound of cure. And I think you'll notice there's a lot of nuclear devices we sell, like radiation detectors, the keychain thing we sell on our website, those kinds of things. Uh, there's a reason why all that stuff is there. And if you read some of the articles on the website, you're going to find that a lot more information that will be conveyed to you than is today. And like I also say, I recommend that you get a copy of the book or use one that somebody has so that you can be well informed when we get into the really high-tech stuff, which I know a lot of you out there want to hear. And I'm excited to do it, but I want to do this sequentially so that everybody understands that not just the chosen few. So those are the kinds of things to look forward in the future. And, of course, email us your questions. Uh, uh, customer service at Pyridine.com is one place to send emails to. Uh, there's a friend of mine, his name is Mitch Matthews. He works for us. He's very informative on the work that I'm doing, too. So I guess it's time to say uh, goodbye and hope you enjoyed the show today. I know I certainly made enough mistakes making it, so hopefully I'll get my recording techniques down better. And we'll have a, a better tomorrow. And thank you for listening. <laughs>